Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at Lambda Functionals, which is a dedicated endpoint, HTTP endpoint that you can attach to your Lambda function. And this makes it really easy for testing, right? So let's take a look. Already there are two ways you can actually enable this. One is if you have a Lambda function, which currently doesn't have it. Let's go over to configuration and we can just enable. And if we scroll all the way down, we should see function URL and we're just going to create a URL and that allows us to connect to our function over HTTP. Now, if you want to keep this within your account only for IAM users, that's pretty fine. But in most likely you want to make this open to the public and so it will create a policy which will allow anyone to connect to this Lambda function using the link. So let's hit save and we're going to get a link. So let's click on this. And there we go. So we can actually now if we go to a tool like let's say Postman or any other HTTP tool and we can actually connect to that. So that's pretty cool, right? So now you can quickly test your functions. So what if you want to create a new function and enable this? That's even just as easy, right? So let's go and tester. I'm going to keep it Node.js, keep all the defaults and you want to go to enable to the advanced settings and enable function URLs. And again, it's the same thing. Once you hit that, you will get that URL at the end. So that's pretty cool, right? So what, what can you do with this? Let's take a look. Let's fire up this function. And I'm gonna make a tiny change, so let's Let's actually return the event that we're sending and we're going to send a post request. So let's hit deploy and let's go over to Postman and let's change this to post and let's go over to their body. And if you're using any HTTP tool, you can easily do this. So let's change this to JSON and we're going to say Let's make sure we're putting up a valid JSON. And if we post that, we're actually sending a post request over. So let's go back. Then let's copy the new URL. And send their post requests and here we are and if we scroll down to our body there we are so you can test any HTTP request with this it's just a quick intro please play around with it bye